Health officials are warning the latest outbreak of Ebola in Central Africa is a, quote, game changer. The last major epidemic was back in 2014. It was the worst Ebola outbreak in history. Now the virus is spreading again. At least 44 cases have been reported in the Democratic Republic of Congo, causing 23 deaths. CBS News chief medical correspondent Dr. John Lapook is following the story. The report of an Ebola case in the city of Mbandaka means the virus has arrived in a densely populated area. Until today, the 44 possible cases and 23 deaths have been limited to the remote rural area of Bikoro. But Bikoro lies near the heavily traveled Congo River, which connects travelers not only to Mbandaka to the north, but to the capital city of Kinshasa, with more than 9 million residents to the south. The fear is if the virus reaches large urban areas, it could spread quickly with devastating consequences. In 2014, a major Ebola epidemic in West Africa killed more than 11,000. Since then, an experimental vaccine has been developed, and 4,000 doses have arrived in the Congo, with thousands more to follow. The plan is to immunize the more than 500 contacts of infected people in an attempt to stop the virus from spreading. Dr. John LaPook joins me now. So, John, remind us about what the Ebola virus is and how does it spread? It's a very nasty virus, Elaine. It was first described uh, and named after the Ebola River in the Democratic Republic of the Congo in 1976. And it spread through direct contact with body, bodily fluids, very infectious if you're in directly in contact with it. And it causes a viral type of syndrome, which could be fever, headache, nausea, vomiting, very severe diarrhea. And in a small percentage of cases, this hemorrhagic phenomenon where people bleed and you can eventually have, because of the dehydration, which is going to be severe, and bleeding, you can have organs shut down and, and eventually death. People remember 2014 and that oh, outbreak. Yeah. How much concern is there that this latest outbreak could become that severe? Well, I think there's a lot of concern. I've been, spoken to the C I've been speaking to the CDC, the NIH. Um, right now, it is contained in, uh, in the Congo. But look, here's the problem. The, the incubation period of this is anywhere from 2 to 21 days. So here's what can happen theoretically. You have somebody who gets sick, and because it's a small world, you have this place, uh, Bikoro, where the infections, most of the infections are. It's right near the Congo River, big river. So people can travel feeling perfectly fine. They can go to a big city, Kinshasa. They can get in a plane, fly somewhere else, still feeling perfectly fine. And then if they landed in the United States or anywhere else, they can get sick there and then spread it. And today was really a big deal because the WHO said this is a major development that we see for the first time that Ebola was detected in a city of more than a million people. That's north uh, of Bikoro, up the, right up the Congo River. Wow. Well, the World Health Organization is also using an experimental vaccine to combat this epidemic. Tell us about that. Right. Well, I spoke to Tony Fauci just a few minutes ago, and of course, he's the head of infectious diseases mm -hmm. for the National Institutes of Health. He said that uh, at the end of the 2014 epidemic, in 2016 in Guinea, this vaccine actually was field tested. It was tested in the field, found to be effective, found to be safe. Uh, so uh, he, he's hopeful that the way it'll be used now is there are more than 500 people who were the contacts of the 44 suspected people, mostly in Bikoro, one in this other city, who have been affected. So what they do on the ground is a big coordination with the World Health Organization, the CDC, the NIH, Doctors Without Borders, local health officials, and they, they, they figure out who are the contacts of the people who are infected. And the plan is to do what's called ring immunization. So they're going to actually vaccinate the people who are the contacts contacts, and the hope is that way you can stop the spread uh, of it further. Because if it gets into a big city, a place like Kinshasa with more than 9 million people, that's going to be very hard to contain it. Wow. Incredibly high stakes. All right, Dr. John Lapu, 